Hello and welcome back everyone to our ninth episode of ABAP development on our SAP BTP platform. Yeah, with me Amrit. So in our earlier episode, we discussed how we can declare internal table. Internal table is nothing but a complex data object. And using that one, we can store multiple records easily in our ABAP on cloud system, right? For the declaration of our internal table, we are required to go with the complex data types and for the complex data types we saw there are two types of complex data types structure and table type structure and table type also in our program we used our table type here for the declaration of our internal table now let's see here how we are going to use global goal global complex data types complex data types so this internal table uh, this is the structure and table type that we have declared inside the program they are not reusable in nature and if we want to use them in any other location we are supposed to create them globally so i'm writing here we had created a local structure and table type local structure and table type for our internal table declaration declaration but they are not reusable in nature in nature and if we want to use them if we want to use them we can simply uh, and if we want to reuse them not use them so reuse them in any other program another program we are supposed to declare them globally then globally so first what i will do is i will create a structure for us and then I will create a table type, a structure and table type. And the same I'm going to do here, I will first create a structure and then I will create a table type. So I will go directly here on our package, right click on it, go with the new other ABAP repository object and go with our structure. There is my structure, I will create structure my what was our requirement so we had created for the student so i'll create a student structure for a student for student i will go with the next and i'll go with the finish So this is my structure as you can see here we have annotation so right now i will not uh, explain much about this one we have a separate session for understanding the cds but for your understanding let me write it here in evap on cloud system cloud system data definition flavor of cds is used for creating data objects like tables, structures, etc. These are the things we use them. There by default whatever the sort description we have given it is showing us. And then here we have the option of enhancement category just like our normal SAP GUI. You can check the option control plus space and you can check all the properties whether you want to announce allow the enhancement or not and then you can simply add the columns here so in my case what are the columns i have i'll bring them down i'm just bringing here first one is student id so abap dot abap dot and call all the types whatever the types you want for the column my one is character 
so three length i'm giving next one we have is name and student course all right so i will go for student underscore name abap dot character what was the length we have given for it so 30 and 30 all right so 30 and student underscore course so abap dot character 30 there is our structure i will right click and i am going to activate it so a global complex data type we have created and once this is created now we can simply create our objects so i am copying this structure i am going back to my previous program there i am going back and for this it student let's just declare it by using the global structure so i will give here a comment declaring using global structure structure so i will comment out this control 7 and then data keyword my it underscore student type table of our global structure name global structure name i will activate it i will activate it activating and then i can simply go for my run as a web application console and we can check the area here you see my student id student name and student course correct how easy it is create a structure this is my cds flavor i will explain the cds while creating the table in the upcoming time meanwhile you just follow the approach no need to worry everything i will cover till end to end project implementation so my structure i have created here now using the structure we are creating a internal table and we are able to use it how easy it is so i'm just putting it here then i will go for the table type so what is my table type again we know table type is a type of internal table so we can also create it you just go with the package or also you can go for the dictionary right click on it the moment you created a structure you can see it came automatically a part of dictionary inside my package so this is a kind of workspace here where everything we are going to write all the pack all the data will be available here my main package under the package my dictionary component is there inside that we can see our structure i can simply right click on the dictionary and i can go and create my table type you see how many things we can do here so much of the things are possible right now i will go over the table type and let's create a z table type my student and we know a table type requires a structure so we will use it table type for the student next go with the next and finish it see here compare it with your normal sap gui screen completely different here my friend completely different right so for this table type i can use my structure here so what we can use can you see so many things are possible i will go for the dictionary type and in the dictionary type i am going to use my structure let's check it out there is my structure i will use it and i will paste it here i will paste the structure i will click on the activate button let me check they are got my structure my table type is ready this is my table type just the same like your normal sap gui screen let me show you i'm just opening for you guys only so you can just relate it from here as well i'm opening sc11 so my data type and i'm giving here any table type i'm opening just related with this one my built-in reference everything that we used to do everything is also possible here 
initialization and access initialization and access key overview primary key details everything my friend is possible here as well in our ebap on cloud system so now my table type is ready you can just go there and we can simply replace this with table type so i will comment out this code i'll comment out and i will declare it using table type now so data keyword it underscore student type my table type i will click on activate button i will click on my activate button activating it and i will go for run as my ebap application console bam another one let's clear it and check it out so i'm going for run as and i'm going for it again a bap application console there you see it's working my friend it's working completely fine right so that's how we can easily declare our global data types by using dictionary inside our package of ebap on cloud environment on sap bpp platform correct so please do not forget to subscribe our channel kindly like the video share the video also give your feedback in the comment section if you want something from me and we will continue from our next session so thank you very much bye bye